All right, guys, welcome back to the TeamFortress.tv Highlander Invitational. If you haven't headed over to the UGC Player Pool Prize Fund, definitely check that out. Any amount you can spare is awesome. I donated $10 because I'm a poor grad student. Um, but if you want to go ahead and donate more to that, um, we would love it. You can also write messages, so um, take this opportunity to trash talk players. But be nice. But uh, anyway, we are here live with GC versus MTS on Viaduct, it looks like. Yeah, um, I think Hildreth was talking about banning some maps so that we're not every single match doesn't appear on uh, Viaduct or Badwater. So hopefully we should be getting some variation for you guys soon. But I mean, Viaduct is not a bad thing necessarily. We just don't want to see the rest of the Invitational on it. Yeah, Viaduct definitely one of those uh, maps that maybe can get a little overplayed, but um, I still love it. Uh... But anyway, let's talk about what we've seen already in this competition. Um, some big upsets, definitely not one from Gentlemen's Club. They were able to take their first uh, match pretty handily. Um, GC, one of the favorites coming into this uh, this tournament, because pretty much their lineup is maybe one of the best that we've seen in recent history. Question mark, maybe? But uh, we'll go over it real quick. We do have Akuma on Spy, Kozen as Medic, Max is on Sniper, Grape is Soldier, Enigma, um, generous um, organizer, or, or generous, what's the word I'm trying to think Owner. of? Owner, there we go. <laughs> Owner of uh, Team Fortress TV does amazing work for Team Fortress 2 um, high, um, community. We do have Valen on Engineer, Ham, or Ham is tagged up as uh, Heavy, and then Pudding Cup tagged up as Puddles on Pyro. Do you want to go yeah. ahead and remind us of MTS, just in case yes, you guys... Yes, I uh... can, certainly. I think they're on it at the moment. So we've got Spamfest is going to be our Engineer. Noko will be our Spy. She's not playing Demo. RR will be our Demo. Sky is going to be Squid. He's our Scout. Uh, Katsy is our Pyro. Filthy Casual, which I'm which we're fairly certain is Skyroller. He's going to be our heavy. Uh, Marissa is going to be our sniper. Harblu is going to be our medic. I've said going to be so many times, but it doesn't matter because Panic is going to be our soldier. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> and I think that maybe Arthur, who is tagged up as Ham on uh, heavy, who is uh, one of the better uh, Highlander heavies in existence. So, um, yeah, definitely watch out for him. Yeah, I think in the article that Hildreth posted, I think it was Mustard Overlord himself. Uh, who called Arthur the best heavy in North American Highlander, so I'm expecting big things. I mean, I don't follow North American Highlander because I watch too much Dota, but, I mean, I've even I've heard of, uh, heard of Arthur, so I'm expecting big things, <laughs> big things. And I forgot to mention, because he is tagged up as .dd, but that is Ruin on Demo Man for GC. Ruin, one of the uh, more famous and more uh, enigmatic, we'll call it, because I'm looking at the name uh, Enigma, but one of the better uh, ESCA invite scouts. But you know what I was thinking? That uh, these teams are invited, so technically all of these players are invite now, right? Um, I think there'd be quite a few people who would disagree with you. <laughs> Um, especially concerning things like pyro mains and all that, but I, 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 I'd go so far to say that they are invite. Damn right, but this is an invitational, they've got to be good enough to get invited. There we go. We are UGC invite, or they are UGC invite. I'm not good enough, God. I'm a filthy euro. But we were, we were invited to cast, so that makes us invite casters. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, yeah. That's right. how it works. Going Absolutely. on my profile. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what do you expect to see out of this uh, this map, or this match between MTS and GC? Um, Stuff? Some good video games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty good much. Video games. Hard to I think anticipate. I've just heard one of them ready up. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, on paper and on the seeding, uh, it should be Gentleman's Club, but I reckon it'll be a lot closer than that. I mean... MTS, they didn't look as good in the in the right article, and the fact that they don't really sort of um, hang on, I've, I've forgotten the sentence that I was going to say there. Anyway, MTS really really clever, led cleverly led by Harblu. So if anything's going to be happening, it's going to be good by him. Have they started? They have. Oh my god, what am I saying? 
just yeah, rambling on. But yeah, mid fight already going down. Ruin take a ton of damage, so he's gonna have to fall back and get some heals already. Uh, Grape going down as well, so a little bit of the uh, player advantage over on MTS, but they did lose their heavy, so we'll see if they can come back from that or if they decide to be aggressive, have a little bit of time on the point. And uh, actually, it's Engineer right now who's in front lines, but Spamfest goes down, and the rest of the team will um, push up, take that point handily, and we do have an Uber ready to go for MTS. So, MTS coming out, uh, guns a blazing. Just just like we saw on Badwater, super, super aggressive team and looking forward to uh, what they bring here. Yeah, I mean, this over-aggression, it, it, it could work really well. I mean, if, if they can get in Max's face and stop him from actually headshotting anyone from long range, it, it, it it's good to deny the pick classes out of Gentleman's Club. And, well, I'm... I'm I, I, bleh, bleh, bleh. Now it's not working again. Come on, we've oh. only just started. Here comes the Uber out of blue. It's gonna be pretty... Not, not really find anyone too much. Uh, but it does get forced the Uber out of red here, so they can come up to defend their point that they have... Uh, sorry, to come up to start trying to get some time on the point. And they are, in fact, finding some players. I think Below. the big big reason blue popped right there is they saw Ruin charging the point with a medic on them, and they knew that uh, Kozen had that 100% Uber, so they decided to pop the Uber preliminary, so they didn't have to face an Ubered room, but Ruin actually got a headshot, um, went down, and uh, put blue out of position with their Uber. But... Red not able to do anything with Uber because they had Ruin down. Well, uh, big... he respawned and took down Harbly, so I mean... Yep, well, I, I was doing past analysis of what happened five minutes ago <laughs> rather than what was happening presently. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so hindsight uh, is beautiful. But anyway... Um, I think it was good. I think it was a good you? pop. The, the blue was a good pop. They saw Ruin charging them, and if he hadn't been headshot, he would have done a lot of damage to them. So they popped in fear of him. And I mean, I mean, I mean the fact that he then respawns and immediately kills the medic and sniper, well... It's it's tantamount. It's testament to how good he actually is. So, with that ability, I mean, you, you've really got to pop in if you see him charging at you. Yeah, just the threat of Ruin alone is is enough to scare you into to pop in. Um, we do have Red taking a very forward position. They were actually on cliff, but they decided to fall back. Uh, one of the huge factors that we haven't mentioned so far is Max versus Mercer in the sniper battle. I've seen that match up several times before, and every time Max has come out on top. But uh, we do have an interesting loadout choice by Marissa. She is running the Sydney Sleeper, so I'm wondering if that's trying to um, counter uh, the the battle she's had against Max in the past. But uh, we'll see how that comes out so far. Um, not great. One point with that. <laughs> yeah, not great at all. But I mean, she was. I mean, uh, I, th I think I said in the article, and um, from what I've seen of her before, is that sometimes she's amazing, and then sometimes she's just like a you know pretty standard sniper. And in the previous match, the one against uh, Dunning Kruger effect, uh, she did look very, very good. So perhaps she's having a good day today, and she is going to be able to take on Max at his own game and really deal enough damage to kill him. But it's not looking so good at the moment because Red are pretty much all over the place. Just stopping Blue from coming in in any way. Yeah, just taking very aggressive holds. And while we have a little pause in the action as Harblue works up that Uber, we want to tell you to invite all your friends because uh, we've reached about 800 viewers. But I think we can uh, break a thousand, so let's uh, try to get that going. Uh, tell everyone you know, put it in your Steam profile name that uh, awesome stuff is happening right now on twitch.tv slash tfortress2 tv. There we go. Anyway, yeah, it looks but like Blue Uber does get clue. popped out here. It's going to be aggressing across the point. They find a Valen in his sentry, but that's not really the pick they wanted. And now this heavy is going to maybe be caught out of position. Ham, I'm sorry, Arthur with... Uh, his wonderful hat does indeed, indeed get taken down, but Kozen was well out of there. He's got 95%. He's going to be coming back in with the rest of his combo, and he's going to be looking to do a lot of work. Yeah, just a temporary hold right here for MTS. They, oh, down goes RR, down goes Katzi. Max on a five, uh, 5k streak right now. Um, and uh, with that, Red pretty much going to be able to capture this. A little, probably uncontested as they're right now. MTS doesn't have the ooh, the numbers. Oh, and Max getting the headshot on Har Blue. That's definitely going to seal the deal for um, any contestation out of Blue. Although we do see some um, spam coming down from from Blue Demo and RR on the cliff. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's not going to be a lot. I mean, Koza still has this Uber, and theoretically he shouldn't he shouldn't drop to spam. I mean, not not even I do that, and I'm really really low division, so <laughs> he shouldn't drop to spam. And they're, they're, they're actually getting really aggressive onto the red cliff, uh, to the blue cliff, and it does. Uh, I think it picks up a respawn in Harblue once again because he's sat back in the spawn queue, maybe. 
not sure, but, but it picked up a lot of players, definitely, if it, did, if it didn't get hardly, and it has given them that forward hold, and so now Red pretty much just doing what they want with this map right now. But if you look at the times, it hasn't been completely one-sided. MTS um, did get quite a bit of time down on the clock, and they're pushing back here, so we'll go into overtime for MTS. Um, I'm sorry, overtime for uh, GC. MTS getting there, and they will recapture. So a nice repush there. Uh, Hardlook has about 60%. He's super, super hurt right now, so he needs to fall back and will. But if they can get this Uber, um, and uh, with possession of the point, less than 60 seconds left, this still is MTS's game to win. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm not entirely certain where those two minutes that they counted down have, have, have come from, but if they've managed to do it, then well, props to them. I, I mean, from what I've seen, from what, from what I seem to remember of this round is that Red have been all over the place, but, well, it can't be that good, although they are going to oh. seemingly recap for free. Ouch. Oh, ouch. ouch. Yeah, that Uber was almost ready for Hard Blue, trying to get in there, but goes down to the mini sentry from Valen. Valen, another name we haven't mentioned, but one of the top uh, e Sixes players uh, in North America and went to Highlander just because he loves the game. the role of soldier, and now um, he's revolutionizing the role of engineer, or at least trying to. Um, definitely more to see out of him, though, in this game. Marissa starting off with a 2K, and she's back on that stock rif sniper rifle, so um, deciding that the Sydney sleeper was a little bit silly, probably. Pretty silly sleeping snipers. Anyway. Well, both snipers doing good work for their teams here. <laughs> Max again going to pick up that counter heavy. And Blue, although they've got the point, uh, they've, they've lost a couple of players for them. Oh, Marissa, there we go, counter sniping Max. That's going to be her fourth kill. Fifth kill, she picks up Valen as well. What did I say, Marissa? She's having a good day. <laughs> Definitely on, uh, at least for this round. Hard Blue staying alive does have that Uber ready to go as MTS is in possession of the point. Marissa kind of far up here, but doing a good job staying alive, taking some spam. We'll have to fall back. But we do hear that charge, that fully charged from Kozen, so we're going to see this push by GC relatively soon, just waiting for the players they want up, and that's probably Ruin, but actually I see Enigma getting a lot of these heals right now. Spy comes in from behind and takes down Enigma, <laughs> so I don't know how Noko caught up with Enigma, but she did and got that huge pick. Red counter pops on Grape as he's trying to get in here, trying to do something. Uh, not able to really get any good pressure. Well, it seems to be doing alright. I mean, they, they, they're they trying to get in and it's just not working. MTS just going to be able to rush the point here. Um, they do have that uber advantage, so maybe Harblu should think about backing up here right now. Definitely. Red are, in fact, coming in back coming back in, right? Yeah, yeah. coming back in. They, they're even going to be taking oh. for this forward position on the concrete. Oh, Harblu are so unlucky. Yeah, it went down. down. Ouch, that's got a got a sting. Grape was charging in on him, so he had Grape and then Akuma with the revolver. There's no way he was going to survive that. So GC coming back and capping the point. We'll take an aggressive hold again. Not too surprising as Ruin is sending some spam trying to block out the door. But how come they come out oh. the main and Max takes on Harvard with a nice headshot right there. So Max bringing a little paint um, in this round. Although Mercer has been most of uh, our talk so far. It's all about the snipers so far. They both seem to be taking it in turns to go big because Max is now on a four kill streak. And I think two of those kills have been on Harbly, so pretty big right there. But Red, once again, they they forward hold. They get a bit of time down on the point and then they back up. And it's just such a clever play from them. Kozen, the 35% advantage. It, he can just play it how he wants. They're, again, they're coming forward and they find Spamfest and they find his teleporter. He's going to be going down and they might even get blue. Hard blue goes down again. Ruin gets oh. some beautiful stickers onto him. Max with the. Oh dear god. Max onto Marissa and just blue just losing a lot of players. Yeah, Max going a little unchallenged right now as Marissa not able to get in a position where she can take him down. And that's really due to this aggressive hold from GC. They are going to back up because the uh, numbers are back for MTS. I don't know if you saw the ham kill, but Ruin brought out the ham to take down Noko, who is challenging his medic. Uh, Uber is popped on him, and they're behind the scenes trying to get something going right here. Um, a lot of kills Ow. going down, but Harblue is nowhere to be seen, so he may survive this uh, pop. And that is come out with an Uber advantage. Uh, they blasted Ruin away from his medic. He in, in into sort of like almost into the blue spawn, and he still manages to get a double kill on Squid, and get out with 15 health. That's just embarrassing. Poor Squid. Also, another thing which I'm really interested in is the fact that Squid and Enigma both mix up scouts or on or on opposite teams. Interesting, yeah. Oh, a little bit of uh, mix up right here on the line. We'll see who comes out on top. It looks like Squid um, getting 
Mm, slightly, no, Enigma's getting slightly better numbers right there, but uh, definitely, definitely still room for uh, Squid's team to come back here. As Blue pushing, uh, they, oh man, they lost Harblue. I didn't see that pick, but Harblue had an uber advantage. Uh, his team without the heals will be pushing onto mid right now and do connect, or do capture the point, but for how long is the question? Yeah, uh, well, it seems to be doing so well, so uh, good so far. I mean, they get, they're getting picks out, and I was watching uh, Skyroller eat his sandwich on point, so pretty good for him. And now Red, <laughs> they haven't quite got the positioning that that blue uh, is ready, although the red Uber comes out here right now, and it's going to be aggressing straight onto Harblu. Harblu, he's so far forward once again, he goes down to pipe some ruin. And our, our tries to jump in and gets body shot out the sky by Max. Some great plays. And it's just going to be an easy cap for once again for Red. They can just sit on this point for the next 20 seconds with that Uber advantage. It's just going to be like a suicide wave in for MTS right now. Yeah, um, full numbers up right now for GC. Somehow, Katsy, I don't want to call her out, but she did get a reflect kill on herself. Uh, Max taking down RR as he tried to poke out of mid right here or coming down central. Not able to do so. Out comes the, um, Harblue with the needles. Not gonna happen as GC taking the second round right here, taking it 2-0. Well, we did watch a pretty big comeback last time, so see what MTS are gonna be able to do on this map with this coming up to this third round right now. See if they can shake it up a little bit, see if they can really bring the hurt to Gentleman's Club and just, you know, focus down ruin. That's what they need to do. They need to focus down ruin, destroy them all, and then just cap the point. That's <laughs> that, that easy. Uh, it's yeah, that, that easy. easy. Uh, they have to have a big mid fight, but immediately losing RR right there. So don't oh, and take it down. And ruin connecting, taking down filthy casualty too. So Delmo out, heavy out. Marissa goes down. There is not a chance that MTS will be able to capture this point. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Noko does get a nice stab on ruin right there. So that's a little bit of a, a, a happy point, but probably not enough as Red pushing onto the point right now with those heals, with Kozen, with 100% Uber ready to go. Yeah, I mean, like I say, well, I, I, I do actually have some logic behind the focus ruin thing. He is such a big player and commands a lot of heals. But the blue Uber is coming on. What am I doing? I'm talking rubbish. That's what's happening. But the red is counter. And uh, uh, ends up behind dueling a pyro. That's not going to go well for him. Hardly down once again. Ruin just running forward. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one with a heavy, filthy casual. That's Sky Roller. Can he do anything? He does take down Ruin. That's a nice pick. And Sky going to be picking up Grape as well. So some aggressive damage classes uh, down for... Uh, GC at the moment, and this could be a recap opportunity for MTS here. Oh, sorry, just a cap opportunity. They haven't capped it once this round yet. Right, it's a nice follow up by Squid right there to take down Arthur the Heavy, uh, tagged up as Ham. So uh, that player out of the uh, out of the picture right here, and Blue's going to take an aggressive hold right here, which I think is absolutely what MTS needs to do. They need to recapture the momentum. They need to. Um, Put down a solid, solid defense. Oh, but it's not going to happen because there's a huge bomb in there from Grape taking down Harblue, taking uh, down Arthur as well. Uh, sorry, not Arthur. Uh, Sky Rolla as well. Leaving only these lighter classes to defend the point. And uh, there's only so much a mini sentry can do, even when it's uh, run by an uh, engineer such as Spamfest. Yeah, absolutely. He's there are people in chat. <laughs> there are people in chat calling out the fact that it's Deadbolt, not Ruin, but it is Ruin because they're, they're in the Mumble Channel below us, and I can see that Deadbolt is muted and deafened, whereas Ruin is not. So it is definitely Ruin there, and Red going to be recapping this point. Yeah, GC, one of those teams that has backups that could easily be their own team, and uh, most of them were on Street Hoops, who were reigning champions of Highlander, but Street Hoops, of course, dissolved. Uh, very unfortunate right there, but good news for Gentleman's Club, who has backups that are amazing. Deadbolt, definitely one of the better scouts in Highlander, and uh, now sixes. Red Uber popped for GC, um, doing a good job pushing back the blue team. Hard blue again staying alive. Uh, that's definitely some of those sixes skills transferring to Highlander, but uh, most of his team going down right there, and not a whole lot of time left for MTS. I mean, hundred. I mean, 140 seconds. Hun one minute and 42 seconds. But still, this aggressive but still hold. Indeed. I mean, uh, it, it's going to be hard. Have you seen the positioning of Arthur? He's he's in a, in a very very good position. He's going to be quite hard to be seen, and he can just drop down onto any blue players that are going to come down. He can even walk around the corner. Harbu has an Uber, and that means you've got to get on the max cam. 
Um, see, it, uh, Uber does get popped right there, so probably not dropping. That's good news. A uh, nice bomb in there from RR. He does take down Kozin and taking down Valen as well. I mean, NG pick, whatever, but still, Valen down. Uh, only two up, one up. It's Enigma, who is the last one standing for uh, GC. They do get those respawns, but not in time to stop the capture here from MTS. So I don't know, we'll see if MTS can hold. They had the point before, but we're not able to really hold on. Uh, not as far forward as we saw last time with the hold. Of course, RR did go down, I think, to a backstab right there. Um, but we are getting an update from the lower bracket that DK beat Stag Party 1-0 on Badwater. So congrats to DK who continue along in this competition. Stag Party, unfortunately, we bid ye farewell, but uh, it was nice seeing you around. Meanwhile, yeah, they were the first team to drop out of this. Meanwhile, wow, blue getting destroyed. That's what's meanwhile. <laughs> Unlucky for them, but red just going to be holding on to the point. Time is still ticking down. This, if they cap this into the final round, and MTS drop to the lower bracket. And I think that even puts... Does that put them in the semi-finals for Gentleman's Club? It does, isn't it? I think so, yep, going to semi-finals, which no one is super surprised about. Um, we'll see if somebody can come out and challenge them. Definitely MTS giving them a run for their money. But uh, I think Viaduct is one of those maps that they're just super, super strong on and can't... Their, their DM is just going to out, outpower, overpower any team they come against. Enigma, I mean, yeah, Enigma going huge, but really Ruin is uh, the story of the game with 55 points right here. Definitely out damaging RR, who's been having a bit of trouble getting to the positioning and doing anything with the Ubers he has gotten. Super aggressive hold right here. Arthur is uh, pushed up. Getting, uh, he actually doesn't even have overheals and he's still very far up. But it looks like this round and this match will go to whoever's, take <laughs> whoever's taken up is Gooby. But that is Gentleman's Club. Getting word that Ryushi is uh, having some problems right here. But that will be the conclusion of this match. Congrats to GC who will continue on. Gentleman's Club in semifinals. No surprise right there. But... Uh, okay game. 3-0, but it felt a little closer than that. Uh, Rishi, you back with me? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sorry. I, I, I just get these random spikes every now and then. Kind of like 5,000 ping and mumble it. Kind, kind of annoying. I, I, I assume it's my housemates, because it's definitely not me. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. It's not me either. I'm sorry. It's just, it, no, actually, it is me. Um, yeah, anyway, no. So that's <laughs> that match. It felt closer than 3-0, right? I mean, MTS definitely brought it, but GC just uh, able to overpower a little bit. Well, I mean, it oh, wasn't, well. like, three-minute rolls on any rounds. They they did get some good cap time out, and they they were getting some good frags on red. It just, you know, just overall, it didn't look too good. Right, so we um, want to take this opportunity to remind you what all this fun is about uh, is for funding the top Platinum Highlander players in UGC. Head over to GoFund. The uh, link is in the Twitch page uh, information so definitely check that out if you have a few bucks to throw in we would be so grateful it's just to show that uh, Highlander community can support their players just as well as the Sixes community I'll get an update on how much money we have so far but hopefully it's uh, already reached the goal and if it hasn't you you I'm talking to you you need to get over there and throw in a few bucks I, I know you can wink all right <laughs> oh, oh maybe you but uh, anybody in chat too all 150 of you uh jk almost 900 so thank you so much for joining us on the sunday afternoon definitely keep telling your friends to get in here and to donate also shout out to tragic for providing tragic surger servers head over to tragicservers.com and uh use the code tftv20 for 20 percent off any purchase so a lot of things going on right there um also shout out to our streamer Dash, who is in it for the long run, and uh, Hildreth, of course, for organizing this, and Enigma for hooking us up with TeamFortress.tv. Uh, also, subscribe to this here channel. Check out TeamFortress.tv at your leisure for fun stuff always. But I think we'll be taking a little bit of a break while we um, figure out next matches.